two years, four pest control companies aren't able to solve this. I'm all by myself. Look, no twin brother with me. And I'm about to figure this out right now. So I got a call from Sergio, a local pest control expert who's taken on this job after being the fourth pest control company. He says, man, I thought I'd be able to step in here, especially after watching your videos, to come in and be able to solve this. I have done everything and I'm not able to figure this out. I need help. So we're here to step in, help Juliet, but she even called me. She says, David, I just don't know what else to do. I don't have have any confidence in anybody anymore and I'm telling her look the great thing with us is if we don't solve it we're not charging you a dime because she's out thousands of dollars guys leave your comments hit that subscribe button share really helps YouTube to grow, help grow our channel appreciate all the support let's get to it okay so the team protected all the floors right to the attic area here we'll get up there and Take a look. So I'm here with my customer. Juliet, if you can kind of explain what you've been dealing with. You've been through four or five pest control companies? Yes, about, yeah, four. And uh, still I am having a problem with the rats. They did, they work on the roof. They sealed all around. Right, and so they did all the exclusion work on the yes, outside. Yes. And you are getting sometimes an odor. Whenever the rat comes, yes. Here's what to expect today. We're gonna perform all the camera and the smoke testing. The good news is that you've got plenty of attic space. You have plenty of crawl space. So we're gonna pump in a lot of smoke to see and rule out if they are in fact coming from the sewer system, okay? Okay. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is a dream attic here. Nice place, your attic. Look at all the room we've got. Some aggressive trapping here. From over here where the plumbing is. This is an old cast iron vent system here. And then there's a cast iron pipe over there. All right, let's go outside, get the smoke machine set up. We'll go underneath the crawl space, start pumping the smoke in. Okay, so this is the crawl space. Let's see if we're getting smoke out of here. No, I can't get that off. Okay, we're isolating the sewer system. Putting a balloon down there so that way we can keep the smoke inside the main runs of the smoke jet. All right, I'm gonna go up on the roof. All right, so we got plenty of smoke coming through here. We'll cap this off and then we'll go around and cap the other vents off. All right, so I just wanted to show you this right here, this type of exclusion work, this is not sustainable. It's just gonna eat up over time, rust out, especially the plastic. The sun's just gonna weaken it. It's important to use stainless steel bands and then coat this here. Super important for long-term sustainability so you don't get those rats coming back in. All right, looks like we got smoke up in the attic. Let's go check it out. We got smoke coming right over here. Yeah, right in, in this corner. And then over there. Oh, this they, is all, yeah, they were trying to it's network. all nesting material mm -hmm. right here, huh? Yeah. yeah, so this is a sign here. This loose insulation, some droppings, and then That's right here. A dead rat too? It's a dead rat, a little right juvenile. Oh yeah, look at some more <laughs> dead rats. And we're getting smoke right here. Boom, we're coming out right where that laundry is. So this is the sign right here. Look at the runway. Very, very heavy on the wire. So you want to look for that in the attic because these are good signs of where they're traveling. Look, now we're getting smoke on this side and it smells up here. The smell here is more like my fifth wife. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry, third wife. So we found, this is what we found up in the attic area. So you see all the rodent droppings? Oh my gosh. This is all, this is nesting, they grabbed. The rat dead? grabbed all of that. There's a dead rat there. Oh. And there's a rat there. There's a smoke. Oh, See the yeah, smoke? Yeah. yeah. So there's something going on in this wall right here. We know that this is their entry point. We're going to have to move the washing machine out of the way. Okay. The wall has to get opened up. So there's a plumbing pipe somewhere in that wall that's opened up where they chew their way through it. All right. So we just, uh, we're going to go ahead now. Remove the washing machine. All right, as you can see, I don't need my brother Jimmy. I can handle all this by myself. I'm excited, but I love him, miss him. Wish he was here with me, but we've got this. All right, guys, taking a little break here. I wanted to share with you this liver flusher here. So the whole lemon with the peel and the seeds, the grapefruit, alkaline water, and olive oil. 
you've got a refreshing burst of citruses and it just gives you that energy to continue. You feel good, feel lean. Might want to try it, guys. Okay, so we've covered our pantry, laid some plastic down. This is the area we're going to open up. Let's see what we find. All right, let's see what we found here, guys. But before we do that, let's go to a commercial break. All right, as you know, we don't like to sell. We like to offer a lot of contribution, but I would love for you guys to buy our products to help support our channel, like our enzyme, our twin rapid mold uh, remover. All of those products do contribute with the health and well-being of our channel. So I invite you to go to shop at twinhomeexperts.com. We've got our store there. Hit those links, buy this, support us. Let's get back to what we found. ABS, but look at this, it's a loose pipe. So it looks like we're gonna have to go up a little further. Okay, as you can see, we've opened up. Right here's the money shot. Now you can see back here the grease marks. And then right through here is where they were getting up into the attic area. So through the pipe, Look at that hole right there. So we're getting in right through there, up into the attic area. All right, so before we do the repairs, we're gonna dump a bunch of our enzymes through here to flush out some of these pheromones. Oh, the twins smell so good. Oh, love it. Smells good. Okay, we're gonna spray our enzyme inside this wall, get it all nice and clean. We're gonna do some exclusion work in here. And the reason why we're spending the time to do the exclusion work inside of this hole is we don't want the rats that are in the attic to try to make it down its way back into the crawl space or into this wall here. So that's why we really believe in covering these holes up. All right, so what we're gonna do is just shove some metal down this vent pipe right here. Ain't no way these rats are coming in through here. And then we got our exclusion up here now. Okay, so we put a studer vent in. Again, there's a bunch of wire right here, so there's no way they're gonna come and chew through this. All right, so I wanna show you our brand new twin tower trap, all made of metal and galvanized. The reason why we went with this versus the last one, they were made of plastic. They started cracking and leaking on us. Very expensive to purchase as well. So this is our new twin tower trap. All of these rat traps we're gonna remove because if there is a lot of rats up here, the better chance of them surviving with that amount of food, especially if they get away. With this trap right here, you're guaranteed when they get in here, they're dropping down here into our enzyme. This is the way it works. We basically feed it right here. We want them to come right here to go for the bait. They're gonna smell all this and they get dropped right down into this little bucket of enzyme right here. We're also gonna put some Slim Jim right here. What I like doing here is you get the oils from the Slim Jim and I know it looks a little disgusting, but all that oil there, the lard, take it and we put it on the rope. This rope right here gives them the ability to climb up into this chamber quicker, but again, we soak it into this and then we'll put these little chunks in here, just like that. So they're gonna come here, bite on this and bam, wipe the rest here on the top of this lid. Again, the more smell that we can get, the more aroma just entices them to eat. All right. That's an old rat there. Yeah, that's old. Oh. Look, at the, look at the maggots. Oh. Oh, Daniel's got the easy job today. Look at this. Cutting some plastic and tape. No dust, no dirt. Look, he's trying to act all professional on the camera by cutting this plastic. It's actually pretty crooked, if you ask me. All right, so remember that metal and the plastic zip ties? We've got the stainless steel band, and we've coated the metal, and we've done that to all of them here. Look at that. Anyways, quick sneak peek on that one. Now we're putting our Wi-Fi camera that's facing right to the trap. I'll show you. So that's our view right there with this camera directly towards the Twin Tower Rat Trap. Okay, so Juliet does not want any smell. So this rat trap, you do have an option catching these rats in a humane way or they get dunked into the twin zone. 
All right, guys, we're done for today. It's amazing. Got a lot of passion and excitement for a job like this, especially when you see a customer like Juliet who's just been at her wit's end and we come in the first day and solve it. So right now, it's just going to be about monitoring, seeing how many rats are left in this attic, if any, and putting this job to a closure. And look at Daniel, still slacking. Now he's got a rag and he's wiping. <laughs> Okay, Juliet, we're all set. Yeah, we did a first coat of, um, okay, cool. of mud there. Well, we're back after about nine days and absolutely no activity. So in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and install a backflow device. She wants peace of mind knowing that those rats will never get back into her sewer line. And that's what we're about to install underneath the house right now. One of the biggest takeaways here in this video is to make sure that your pest control company shows you exactly where they're coming in. And yes, it could be one or two different areas, but if you've done a great job with all the exclusion work, but there's one area that shows all of that high traffic. If you find that area, you've nailed it. And that's what we've done here. So to give her peace of mind, she did opt in to put a backflow device in, being that we did confirm that they are sewer rats. So this is a definitely a great alternative to give you peace of mind so you don't have rats coming back in and chewing through these ABS pipes here. Okay, so this is the main sewer line right here that goes underneath. Right here is where the rats were coming in, coming up this area right here and then going to the laundry room line by installing it right here there's no way these rats are getting back into the sewer line so i've modified the metal mesh on here we spray uh, the flex seal on here to waterproof this really well so there's no way they're going to chew through this All right, so we go to install this, and this pipe right here just snaps and breaks. So now we've got to redo all of this here. All right, guys, we did it. This is all brand new. Let's go ahead and run the water to make sure there's no leaks, and I'll show you the water opening up this backflow valve. So let's get that uh, started right now. There was a few cuss words putting this together that I won't share with you. We've got to keep it professional. Perfect. All right, so let's go inspect the attic to make sure there's no fresh droppings. Doesn't look like there's fresh droppings anywhere, huh? Nothing, huh? Well, I know it's not exciting because we didn't see any rats get into the twin tower trap, but good news for Juliet, it's a good sign. There's absolutely no activity up here, especially after nine to 10 days. You got to remember the starvation period for rats is typically four to six days. So let's get our wrap up this job here, but another successful rat job. <laughs> Okay, Juliet, we've removed the trap. There's no more fresh droppings up there. How are you feeling right now? You're happy. I'm, I'm happy, really happy. I hope this is gonna be the last. You're hoping that this is the last service. Yes, I hope so. For rodent really control. Hope so. And I can tell you this, with all the years that I've been doing this and all the work that we did up on the roof and all the plumbing and all the repairs, I'll guarantee it for life, promise you. Thank you very much. Feel God very, bless you. God bless you too. And I thank you so much for, for having us here and giving me the opportunity to come and, and solve this issue for you. Well, as you can see, Juliet was super, super appreciative. Very, very happy. Uh, I saw it in her face that she knows now that she's not going to have a rat problem. Anyhow, hopefully you like this episode. Please hit the like, hit that subscribe button, share our videos, and we'll see you on the next one.